Hi everybody, my name is Cook and welcome to Cook the Geek. And you can check me out at cookthegeek.com. Uh, but if you go there right now, it's being redirected to my uh, YouTube channel. But once I get 200 subscribers, I'm gonna make you the best website you've ever seen. It will literally blow your pants off. Not figuratively, but literally. So subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can go to uh, cookthegeek.com, and it takes you to my YouTube channel. You can subscribe. Once I get 200, I'll make a new website. Once I get 500 subscribers, I'll do an episode without my shirt on. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started for today. Sound good? All right. All right, today we're going to be cooking uh, with garlic, garlic, uh, an, a half of an onion, uh, some of these tomatoes, we're not going to use all of them, uh, one avocado, some peanuts, some soy sauce, some olive oil, and a vast array of primo top quality uh, spices. Yummy, yummy. So, what am I going to make with this stuff? I'm going to make Mac Guacgyver. Because as we all know, MacGyver is like a god. And he's pretty cool. So, we're going to make Mac Guacgyver. And I'm going to show you a, a MacGyverism on uh, how to take care of your uh, uh, avocado. So, when you make your, your guacamole sauce or your Mac Guacgyver, you can use this MacGyverism. Let's check it out. If you remember from my last episode where we cooked an omelet in a Ziploc bag, I used a banana tripod. I'm the inventor of the banana tripod. But uh, I don't have enough bananas. I only have one banana. Uh, so right now I'm using the banana toaster combination. Okay? Uh, so I'm going to show you how to MacGyver a, uh, an avocado. Here's how we MacGyver an avocado. All right, you want to cut it in half this way. Don't worry about the sticker, you can eat that. I think they're perfectly edible. So you cut it in half and you just give it a little tiny twist this way and that way. You just rock it open. There we go. So a lot of people get confused on how to take out the seed. Um, a lot of people use a spoon. They'll think, oh, a spoon, it's kind of circular, and this is circular, and this is circular, so it'll fit, but no. You end up screwing everything up, and your seed pops out, and it can poke someone in the eye, and you can go blind. So, forget the spoon. We're just going to take our sharp knife and gently whack it in there. Well, a little harder. And then you just kind of turn it like that, and boom, there's your seed. And doesn't that look good still? And here's our other one. Looks pretty good. So I just MacGyvered my, uh, my avocado. That's why it's called uh, Mac Guacgyver. This is my Mac Guacgyver sauce. <laughs> pretty cool. When it comes to the avocado seed, you don't want to eat it because it's full of poison. There's this one poison in particular. It's called uh, avapaca poison. Avapaca poison is found inside uh, the seed of the uh, of the avocado. So don't eat that. Just throw it away. If you even cut it open and get it on your skin, you might uh, break out in a rash. Remember the wise words of Cook the Geek. <laughs> Now you want to uh, cut up some fresh garlic pieces here and we're going to fry it in here with some olive oil, okay? Let me get that going right now. Here you can see that I've cut the heads and the butts off of each garlic piece. That's what they're called, the head and the butt of the garlic. So you want to cut those puppies off. Uh, some of these pieces I was able to get the you know the little skin off quite easily. Some of them are a little tougher. Um, let me show you what you can do. So here's one. 
here's one with the skin. So you just put, whoops, you just put your knife over it, that, and then you just kind of, you don't want to do it too hard. You just want to barely do it. And then, there we go. See, I was able to get it off with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it off with one hand. See? <laughs> Don't poke your eye out. <laughs> All right, well, let's cook our uh, our garlic in uh, olive oil. You always use olive oil. That's all you need, olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Here's another quick uh, MacGyver tip. Uh, when you have lots of stuff that you're going to throw away, a lot of people will use their knife and they'll scrape it like that. Don't do that. You're going to hurt your blade. Use the back side. Use the butt of the knife. See, this side's not sharp. Use the butt end. And then, you know, then we can get all of our garbage organized. Oop. There we go. Okay, pretty cool. That's another MacGyverism. Sometimes when you're cooking, you're gonna drop things. Uh, I dropped a couple pieces of onion. Uh, you don't wanna eat that because uh, the floor is what we call dirty. But the five second rule does apply, but it was on there for a good 20 seconds. So here's my onion, my half of a white onion. Um, here I have my garlic cooking. See the garlic's kind of brown on one side. If you get it too dark, it's gonna be kind of bitter, but I like bitter things. All right, so we're gonna, how am I gonna do this? See, I need my camera crew here. Um, my my bride, my bride that I ordered from the internet, she'll be here soon. Um, she can be my camera person, so I got to put the camera down. Can you see? I don't know. I need my hat back on. I'm gonna turn this puppy down. So I got to turn it down a little bit. It's getting kind of high. But my gas oven's really sensitive. It's really easy to accidentally turn it off. So now I gotta add the onions here. So listen. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, so you wanna fry up the garlic and olive oil and your half of onion that you diced up. You can have big chunks, you can have little chunks. Uh, it's okay, you don't wanna cook the onion too long. See, I'm really, I'm not even, the onion on heat it's just the hot pan what what this is doing this is releasing the uh, the, the center diodes within the onion this is what happens when you uh, just lightly cook it it releases the center diodes and uh, it, it helps with uh, with digestion so uh, plus it, it it gets coated with the olive oil which is pretty good and uh, makes it look better, look shiny. We, when we cook, when you cook with olive oil, it makes things shiny. That's good. Remember that. <laughs> All right, now I have.